Hi, Alts Terminator here. How are you? Hope you're well. Um, this is a match made siege battle on Shogun 2, and this is a pretty good game. I like, um, don't mind the old siege battles. I've played a couple recently, and they're a bit of fun. So, if anyone doesn't know much about this, um, being the defender, you have about, uh, I think it's about half the funds available to the attacker. Um, and so the defender sets up inside the castle and you've got these regions which control the gates and this is the center one which actually controls uh, it's like a victory location so if you if the attacker takes this spot game over um, with the gatehouses if you can the defender gets in here and gets some troops in here for a length of time um, they can then take control of the gate. Uh, this particular castle is pretty good. It's got heaps of walls. I'll just zoom out a little bit and show you. There's like one, two, three, four layers of protection. So as a um, a defender, you've got some incredible options here to how to defend. Uh, generally speaking, I think um, uh, most people I've seen play Mola match made uh, defending castles, you know, they tend to bring uh, quite a lot of match locks, a few archers and, um, and just a couple of melee and usually all pretty much vanilla units as well um, to absorb some of the fire from the bow inventory. Attackers generally bring uh, archer dominated builds. In the deployment period um, I can choose to put my troops anywhere I like inside the castle and try to defend it as best I can. The hardest thing to do is try to anticipate uh, actually where the attacker is going to deploy and where he's going to choose to launch his attack. Now with this particular map um, I think there's eight uh, archer towers which uh, the defender controls which when the attacker is approaching will fire automatically at any approaching troops which is pretty handy for the defender however it does cause a bit of a problem for the attacker and the attacker usually chooses an area which doesn't um, sort of have as many of those towers on the side they want to attack from. Okay, so if we have a look at this map and this castle, um, there are eight archer towers, as you can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So in the deployment period, I sort of uh, took a bit of a punt and I thought, okay, there's only really this one archer tower here. If I was going to attack it, I'd deploy here. Um, so I'm defending in this one and my opponent is a 10 star. I'll just zoom in to my build. I've got six vanilla lone sword and I have six katana cav in my general. And I was hoping that my opponent would deploy in this area and that's what he did. So there you can see um, basically a shitload of archers and not too many spears which is pretty handy to have and no cav. Okay so um, lesson one I picked the right spot to deploy for this particular type of build. Okay so let's start the game. There we go and I'm gonna rush down the hill with my lone swords and use my cav on the flanks. So as you can see he's got quite a few archers oh, he's actually got a few matchlocks. So we're going to hit him from the side and we've got cav coming in from the other side as well. And I'm not using my general at the moment because I just don't particularly want to get him to be sniped.
so pretty much my troops haven't sustained too many casualties uh, for my lone swords so and they'll do quite a bit of damage from the front and my cow from the sides is as you can see pretty devastating uh, he's gone into stand and fight and once I'm pretty confident that all these archers are pretty stuffed I'll bring my general down into a stand and fight position there we go now he does have a few archers over there which he's managed to get out of the melee blob okay but he probably should have tried to target the general but he didn't my lord a and glorious victory will soon be yours pretty much that's the end of the game so that was a pretty quick game and lots of fun thanks for watching we'll see you next time